as well as the standard fair use policy, this video is protected under the Treaty of Peace and Friendship, 1787. Moors are awake. We are taking our place on this planet. Islam Moors. My, my nationality is Moors. Breaking news at 4.30, the million dollar squatter evicted overnight from the East Memphis mansion she took over just days ago. Action News 5 had multiple crews and multiple scenes as this all went down. We want to explain exactly what happened. This was the 600 block of Shady Grove in East Memphis. Around 1 this morning, authorities saw the iron gate open, as you just heard. They then moved into their home. Again, 600 block Shady Grove. This happened about two hours after Shelby County Sheriff deputies pulled over Tabitha Gentry in her white Jaguar, along with her 13-year-old daughter. There's a picture of her. She was just down the street from the $3 million home where self-proclaimed Moorish American National Republic sovereign citizen is accused of squatting for the past few days. Now, Action News 5 has learned the way authorities were finally able to make their move was thanks to a welfare check by a relative of the 13-year-old girl. Listen. We went down to file the appropriate papers at the court um, because uh, she thought that her, her grandchild was in an endangered situation. Uh, so uh, working on that, based on that, uh, uh, our detectives and SWAT unit and TAC unit uh, uh, came down here to devise a plan to figure out exactly how we could, you know, uh, gain entrance into the home uh, without causing anyone harm and, uh, and get them out. Just so happens that uh, uh, we didn't have to go in the house. They actually came out of the house, and as they were driving down the street, uh, that's when we were able to uh, apprehend uh, the vehicle. And that was Chip Washington with the Shelby County Sheriff's Office. Chopper 5 over the mansion here just within the past few hours as authorities continued to search the property. So far, they haven't found anyone else there. And as last check. Tabitha Gentry was still being processed. The Shelby County Sheriff's Office says she will be charged with burglary. The 13-year-old daughter is in DHS custody. Yes, I know. That news story sounds like something out of a movie. These Morris sovereign citizens are out of control. This lady took over a mansion and thought, that she can then live there for the rest of her life for free. Now, I know that news clip was a bit short, so let's get into some more details of this Morris squatter. And now to breaking news. The squatter living rent-free in that $3 million mansion on Shady Grove Road is talking. Action News 5's Nick Kinney was there when Tabitha Gentry emerged from the home to speak to our cameras. So, Nick, what does she have to say? Well, it's been an eventful 10 minutes here. She didn't actually come out of the home. We know they're coming and going because you saw that white Jaguar leave last night. We saw it pull back into the driveway this afternoon. Literally just about 10 minutes ago, we have some video. She had to get out of the car to undo the chain and then open the gates to let the car back in. Of course, they saw that big chain, the big lock on it, so it takes several minutes. We all sprinted over there because uh, it's the first we've actually seen of her. She says she was asked why she chose this house. Here's her answer. Why not? <laughs> it's a beautiful house. That it is a $3 million mansion that she's been living in. It's for foreclosure. It's for sale for about $2.75 million. Uh, is a Literally, it just happened kind of out of the blues, so we all sprinted over there. You'll hear more from her throughout the night. We'll have much more tonight on Action News 5 at 10, but just got our first look at the people living in that house. She says her whole family is there and that there's a lot of them, though she did not elaborate. Strange situation still unfolding here on Shady Grove Road. For right now, reporting live, Nick Kenny, Action News 5. So this lady done read the Morris Holy Quran and a couple of Taj Tariq Bay books and say, hey, you know what? I'm gonna claim this $3 million mansion. Where is the logic there? Why not just go some, go for a house that's cheaper, more under the radar? Maybe you'll actually get away with this, but why are you aiming so high 
and you see them big ass chains she chained around the, the 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 gate like that's not normal lady if some if a, a a pedestrian was to walk by and they see that that's you know that that's going to alert someone man like these people are absolutely out of their freaking minds but let's continue Can't Apparently, an Action News 5 viewer, that's Opka Ray Bay, given name Tabitha Gentry. Excuse me. Returning home to this $3 million Shady Grove mansion in which she's been squatting for the past several days. The property is for sale, a bank-owned foreclosure that's supposed to be empty. But she moved in unannounced, took over, and even put this heavy-duty chain and padlock on the front gate. It's a legal matter, ma'am. I'm not going to... I'm not going to speak about this. This self-proclaimed more American national claims the bank cannot own property and that her indigenous ancestry grants her the deed. So, why this place? Why not? <laughs> it's a beautiful house. The Memphis Police Department says it is investigating this case. The Shelby County District Attorney General's office says it's waiting on a case file before taking any action. Real estate professionals say it may become a civil matter despite its seemingly criminal nature. Yes. Uh, individuals are allowed to uh, benefit from this type of conduct, I think you'll see more of the copycat type of conduct. She says she loves her new house and that she's got her whole family with her. It's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot of us. We have a big family. Squatting in what she now calls home, sweet home. Since when does indigenous ancestry grant people deeds to million dollar homes first and foremost lady you are not indigenous you are an african-american your forefathers were brought here on slave ships you are not indigenous to anything and even the in real indigenous people don't go around just taking over million dollar mansions more science is a detriment to the african-american community we're updating breaking news now we brought you first the woman accused of squatting inside a three million dollar mansion is now behind bars all new at six we're learning more about the other people inside her home her children action news five's nick kenny joins us live with this new information nick yeah, this squatter saga seems over, but sheriff's detectives say they're still investigating. They may still yet file more charges in this convoluted case. Though she's all smiles, Tabitha Gentry, also known as Opka Ray Bay, is locked up on $2 million bond after squatting in this $3 million mansion over the past week. My client's niece is the oldest daughter of Miss Gentry. Gentry has six children. The oldest, almost 16 years old, sent picture messages to her aunt from inside the house that showed no furniture and an empty refrigerator. The aunt contacted attorney Kenneth Besser. She wanted her niece out of there before the police had to take any action to take back that house. Besser says Gentry's four youngest were with their father, but that she took her two oldest out to have their nails done Thursday afternoon. And we were attempting to set up a meeting so that my client could pick up her niece either at a dinner or over at the nail studio. That didn't happen. Instead, Hi, Nick. Gentry returned to the mansion, which is when we met her. So Besser got a juvenile court judge to sign a child protective custody order, in turn facilitating an arrest warrant for Gentry and a search warrant for the house, still legally owned by Renaissance Bank. And we're just glad uh, it's over with and that nothing uh, bad happened. Bank officials declined comment on case-specific issues, but say they were caught off guard by the squatters. Uh, this was a, a new experience for Renaissance, one that we hope will uh, not repeat itself. Sheriff's deputies sawed off the chain on the gate, swept the house, and found no one else inside. Besser says the children are safe and sound, but acknowledges a likely adjustment period after a change in environment. And so naturally she's going to have some emotional output from that. We're hoping, you know, to get her into some counseling and get her back reacclimated to a different set of lifestyles. Unfortunately for Opka Ray Bay, counseling more than likely won't help her. Once more science gets attached to the brain, it is almost impossible to get rid of. 
These people want to live for free and they just believe nonsense that they want. That they just want to believe that they have to believe so badly. They don't want to be productive citizens. They just want everything for free. So unfortunately, I doubt counseling is going to help this lady. We've been watching for days now, finally came to an end overnight. Our cameras were rolling as the multi-million dollar squatting suspect was evicted from the East Memphis mansion she took over days ago. Tabitha Gentry is now charged with burglary, criminal trespass, and theft, and is being held on a multi-million dollar bond. And now that she's out of that big house, we're talking to people in that neighborhood who are very relieved this whole ordeal is finally over. Action News 5's Nick Kenny joins us now live with that story tonight. Nick. The Shelby County Jailhouse, much bigger, but probably not as nice as the compound she was staying in. An accused squatter uh, locked up on $2 million bond. After Damn! For a week-long joyride in a $3 million mansion. The birds' happy tune echoes throughout this multi-million dollar neighborhood. Are you glad it's over? Absolutely. David Buring lives off Shady Grove Road near this $3 million mansion, now guarded by private security round the clock after a squatter had moved in and taken over for the past week. Yep, she sure got good taste on um, I just, I'm just amazed somebody could do that, just move in. Thursday night, Tabitha Gentry, the self-proclaimed more American national, also known as Opco Ray Bay, was pulled over in this white Jaguar. She's charged with theft of property over $60,000, accused of stealing the property. Most all of us work hard to pay our taxes and, you know, we pay whatever we pay and that's why we get to do what we do. So to be able to freeload doesn't really fly with me. Yeah. I don't have that privilege, do you? Excuse me, sir. But you don't have that privilege because you are not a Morris sovereign citizen and you have not proclaimed your Moorish nationality. While the shock may never wear off, neighbors hope some semblance of normalcy returns soon. We heard from the bank that owns that mansion for the first time today, plus how Gentry's six children are doing and fascinating details about how cell phone pictures from inside that mansion may have helped break this whole case wide open. That's coming up tonight on Action News 5 at 6. For right now, though, reporting live downtown Memphis, Nick Kenny, Action News 5. What also seems bizarre about the situation, it's, it appears as if this lady had kidnapped her own children because it was stated that her daughter was taking pictures of the empty mansion and sending it out to family members. So it seen, it appears as if this lady was holding her daughter against her will. Her daughter wanted to get out of there and she wouldn't allow it. Of squatting in a multi-million dollar estate faces off with a Memphis judge and she had plenty to say. Action News 5's Nick Kenny joins us live tonight with all details from court. Nick? No longer living the lifestyle of the rich and famous, she didn't even get out of jail to go to court. Instead, facing a judge by video feed. The doors locked, the courtroom empty during a bizarre arraignment. For Tabitha Gentry, a.k.a. Apgaray Bay, who over the course of a 60-second court appearance repeatedly interrupted the judge. She's charged with theft of property, accused of breaking into and squatting in this $3 million Shady Grove mansion for most of last week. This is a corporation. Jared Batt says he's a friend. He showed up to court to support Gentry. She's Moorish American. Why, why y'all saying she's squatter, she's Moorish American? This matter has to be uh, handled in the civil court, not, not general session. But the General Sessions judge disagrees, ignoring her opposition, upholding bond at $2 million. Don't go to court and challenge jurisdiction. Learn how to get out their jurisdiction. Just learn how to remove yourself from the jurisdiction. Then you can start doing everything as far as like exercising your rights. Well, it seems that Apka Ray Bay missed that day in class when the sovereign citizen guru taught 
to not go into court and challenge jurisdiction. Just learn how to stay out of their jurisdiction and then you can start exercising your rights. And scheduling the next sure to be compelling court date. That's going to be two weeks from today, Monday, March 26. By that point, the judge says he expects that she'll have an attorney. Reporting live, Nick Kenny, Action News 5. War fireworks this evening from Tabitha Gentry. Tonight, the words an accused house squatter and self-proclaimed sovereign citizen said to a judge during a court hearing. WMC Action News 5's Lauren Squires has the story. Well, Joe, we don't usually hear a case like this going to trial. In fact, many times a plea deal is reached. That's because the suspect usually cooperates with their attorney. In this case, Tabitha Gentry, a self-proclaimed sovereign citizen, hasn't cooperated with anyone. I'm Alfie Gareta Bay, and I am Warsh American, and I've told this court that several times. And according to the Constitution, um, we can never be citizens of the United States. <laughs> That was Tabitha Gentry's first words to Judge Jimmy Laney as he tried to convince her to cooperate. Gentry, who goes by the name Abka Rebe, refuses to talk to her attorney, Claiborne Ferguson. To see you not try to defend yourself and not try to uh, cooperate at all, uh, <coughs> uh, I, I think is, is, is an injustice and you're doing it to yourself. She's accused of squatting in this $3 million home off Shady Grove Road in 2013. She stayed here for days with her family before a Shelby County SWAT team forcibly moved them out. Claiborne Ferguson took on the case because he thought it had merit. But after he entered a not guilty plea, Gentry spoke up. Excuse me, I speak for myself. I have not hired any attorney to represent me. And I do not plead anything. I'm Morris American and I'm Africa Ray Bay and I claim the property. The prosecution brought two witnesses, a real estate agent and a representative from the bank, presenting evidence, including Gentry's homemade signs. After a brief recess, family it's tried to convince Gentry to cooperate, but she continued to refuse. Uh, pursuant to the National Banking Act, Section 20, eight, banks cannot own property. And that was just one of several outbursts, many more happening this afternoon. Finally, the judge outburst back and yelled at her, saying if she speaks one more time, he'll add 10 more days to whatever sentence she gets. Keep in mind, she's already here for 14 years for other charges. Uh, right now, court's still going on. We'll be inside for the rest of the day, probably likely be back here tomorrow. Reporting live, Lauren Squires, WMC Action News 5. Opco Ray Bay just can't let go of the Morris science and let an attorney help her. She is clearly going to get sentenced to even more jail time on top of the 14 years she's already facing. At the breaking news desk, East Memphis mansion squatter Tabitha Gentry found guilty within the last few minutes down at 201 Poplar. Gentry charged with burglary and theft for squatting with her family inside a multi-million dollar home back in 2013. It took a SWAT team to finally remove her from that mansion. She was twice ejected from the courtroom during her trial this week for outbursts like that one. Gentry is scheduled to be sentenced at the end of May. In court today, the million dollar home squatter, Tabitha Gentry. She should find out how much longer she'll stay behind bars. Gentry was convicted back in April for squatting in an East Memphis mansion in 2013. If her sentencing today goes anything like her previous appearances, she could get thrown out of the courtroom again for outbursts like this one on the day she was convicted. God knows, God knows my intentions right. and the law knows. Gentry's outbursts got her ejected from the courtroom twice that day. She's already serving a 14-year sentence for assaulting two police officers. It's very unfortunate, but this is what Morris science produces. These people that encounter this Morris crap, they just wind up wasting their lives. And now this lady is facing 14 years for assaulting an officer when I thought more science was about love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. 
I don't hear them say anything about assaulting anyone, but it is rather unfortunate that the African American community even runs across this information because it's only destructive to their lives. Now an accused mansion squatter back behind bars, Tamitha Gentry was in court to face charges that she broke into a multi-million dollar home that you can see exclusively here from Chopper 5 video. Action News 5's Ben Watson was there for the legal fireworks in the courtroom. Security was extra tight here at Division 13 for Tabitha Gentry's hearing. We counted at least eight deputies in the courtroom. Gentry was a little less combative than her last court appearance several days ago. <laughs> it was more than a week ago when Gentry chained a gate to this luxury home in East Memphis. Officers raided the mansion and arrested Gentry. Since Gentry's arrest, she and others have filed dozens of documents demanding her release from jail. 20, 25 pages, 30 pages of just rambling. Mayor A.C. Wharton, the U.S. Attorney General, President Obama, and the First Lady are among those who received the documents. In court today, Gentry asked to represent herself. The judge allowed it. Gentry will have to sign a waiver first. And Gentry is expected to be back in court April 10th. Ben Watson, Action News 5. It is quite a shame that adults actually fall for this Moorish crap. You're telling me these people send an affidavit of fact with Barack Obama and his wife, Michelle's name attached to it as if that's supposed to do something. I can't believe these people are so uneducated that they actually fall for this absolute Nonsense. Accusations of kidnapping made in court by Tabitha Gentry, the woman accused of squatting inside a multi-million dollar East Memphis mansion. But that's not why she was sentenced to 14 years in prison today. WMC Action News 5's Justin Hansen is live with uh, more now from the newsroom. Justin. Till a criminal court judge placed Tabitha Gentry in contempt of court after she continually disrupted her own sentencing hearing. Tabitha Gentry's best known as the woman who illegally lived in a $3 million East Memphis mansion last year. Now Gentry's heading to jail to serve a 14-year sentence on aggravated assault charges. I find that the circumstances of this offense are particularly troubling and they're particularly aggravating. The self-proclaimed Moorish American continually interrupted Judge Jim Lammy during her sentencing hearing. And she, Who will she, give me authority she, to claim my nationality? She, no one has she, to give me authority ma to claim my you stop. Claim. You stop interrupting me. In April 2012, Gentry tried to run over two police officers with her car after she was pulled over without headlights. Her driver's license was expired, so she showed them her sovereign citizen ID. Gentry then locked the car doors, put the car in gear, and hit one of the officers with her car. In court Wednesday, Gentry rolled her eyes while being addressed by the judge. No matter what we do or what we say, uh, the laws don't apply to her. The constitutional law applies to me. Very good. You're not following the law. If you open your mouth one more time, it's 10 days consecutive. Gentry's cousin also testified, saying that Gentry was a good child who became a wonderful mother to her six kids. It hurts me dearly to see her in this situation because she's not the person now that I was used to as a little bitty tiny tie. Now, Gentry's lawyers say she'll have to serve at least 30 percent of her sentence before being parole eligible. She's also facing another trial on those squatting charges. If convicted there, she could face an additional 25 plus years for those charges. In the newsroom, Justin Hanson, WMC Action News 5. The message here is quite clear. Stay far away from more science. It will not benefit your life and you might possibly end up like this woman facing 14 years in jail for one charge and then with the other charge, the squatting charge, I think she got a total of 20 years. This is what Morris Science does. Don't do Morris Science.
Remember that woman who squatted in a $2 million East Memphis mansion? Well, Tabitha Gentry is serving 20-year prison sentence for that. Well, we have learned her new attorney is hoping to get her out of the big house for what she did in that big house. Here's the local I team's Jenny DiPrizio. I made the video because her sentence did not fit the crime. Catherine DeRossett says she hopes after watching this video, people will understand how unjust Tabitha Gentry's punishment is. We have people that commit crime after crime against our community that are violent and harmful and they don't get 20 years in prison. Gentry took over this East Memphis mansion at the time the home was for sale. She was charged with what's considered a class A felony. And my question for the state of Tennessee is why did they charge her the same class as first degree murder? This was not a family home. This was not people living in it. She didn't terrorize anybody. She sat in a bank owned house for five days. In the video, DeRossett points to other cases like this Central Gardens woman who pleaded guilty to embezzling almost $200,000 but was sentenced to just one year in prison and this man who was convicted of murdering a man in Cordova during a parking lot dispute he got an 18 year sentence less time than Gentry five days in a bank owned house 20 years in prison in the courtroom Gentry was known for her outbursts she claimed she was a Moorish citizen and didn't have to follow the rules of the US government one more outburst and you're out of the court other lawyers we talk to say it's hard to compare cases. It's all apples and oranges. Every case is going to be different. Judges are required by law to look at each case individually. A spokesperson for the Shelby County District Attorney's Office says Gentry was charged with the Class A felony because of the value of the house. DeRossett believes had it not been an East Memphis mansion, her client may have never been charged. I do think that had to be a factor because I don't think it would have been pursued if this had been a three-bedroom tiny house that nobody was paying any attention to. For the Local Eye team, I'm Jenny DiPrizio. Lady, it's rather unfortunate, but you are probably right. It's sad to say that this Morris squatter aimed a bit too high. A stupid behind shouldn't have been squatting in a $3 million home. Instead, she should have been squatting in a $50,000 home. But hey, that is the choice that she made. She followed Morris Science. She followed Taz Tariq Bey and all of this I'm indigenous, yada, yada, yada nonsense. And she made the mistake of aiming too high. It's all on her.